Audio test, how's the audio test going, everybody? What if I bring it a little bit closer? Time to get going. Oh, Rain! Morning, Elliot. <laughs> Good morning. Are you heading to school now, too? How about we walk there together? Sure. It's getting late, though, so we might need to pick up the pace a little. No problem. I'm guessing everyone else left already, huh? I think so. I'm not sensing anyone else on this floor, at least. Gaius in particular is probably long gone by now, being the early riser he is. Uh, oh, okay then. He's not sensing anyone? What does that mean exactly? Let's go. I'm not gonna waste any time, let's get right in there. We're gonna ignore the fact that I didn't realize the mic wasn't on. Huh. We're gonna... Oh! Mm. Hey! I'm on Elisa. Good morning. I yeah. Good morning. Morning, y'all. Morning! Are you two on your way to school? Uh, yeah. Come on, Emma. We're going to be late. Hey, wait for me, Elisa. We'll see you in class. Hi, Emma. <sighs> I never would have guessed she'd hold a grudge this long. Ouch. She knows it was just an accident, right? She has to. Can't believe she'd be so sensitive. No kidding. She's not even giving me a chance to apologize to her. Well, as long as you keep trying, I'm sure she'll understand. Eventually. Class Seven's got enough tension as it is, what with our two, uh, prideful warriors at each other's throats. So, I think it would be a load off everyone's mind if you and Elisa could make up at least. I'll certainly do what I can. Whatever that may be. Good 
These past two weeks have really flown by, haven't they? It's funny. I went into this thinking combat practice would be the toughest part of the curriculum. Never would have guessed the academic side of things might give it a run for its money. Well, strong in body and mind is pretty firmly embedded into Imperial culture. I do get what you mean, though. I figured I'd be able to coast through the year, but I've had to very quickly reevaluate that. Uh, you too, huh? I wish I were as smart as Machius or Emma. They don't seem to be having any problems at all. But then, Emma got the top score on the entrance exam, and I'll bet you anything Machius wasn't far behind. I'm sure. Yusus and Elisa are apparently doing really well, too. As are Laura and Gaius. Really? Guess I'm just gonna have to suck it up, then. Though I really do hope they don't mind. Huh? I'm not sure I follow. Oh, sorry. You got me thinking about Yusus and Laura. I've been talking to them the same way I talk to everybody else, but they're both nobles, right? And Yusus' family rules over the whole eastern side of the Empire, so it kind of feels like I should address them more formally. Well, they both said it was okay, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Though you probably shouldn't go picking fights with Yusus every chance you get, like a certain someone else. Oh, I don't plan on it. I'd hoped they'd get along a bit better over time, but if anything, things seem to be spiraling downhill fast on that end. We need to, we need to instigate Operation Friendship. When the two of them are in the same room, there's just this constant tension in the air. It's not all Machias either. Yusus seems to enjoy provoking him at every opportunity. I can't even imagine what it would take to make them see eye to eye at this point. Yeah, I wish there was something we could do to help them get along. And that's where we'd Green be uniform. if we weren't in class Remember seven. What that means? We'll be on the quiz. Dormitory number two. Or all the common folk like us. Yeah, I guess so, huh? I'm still kind of shocked that Class 7 gets to have its own dormitory. Though, to be fair, I think that building was abandoned till this year. Well, they Oops. did a good Sorry. job. Didn't it's got it. a nice feel to it. I just wish it were a little closer to the Academy. Hey, you're in our way. Step aside at once. Oh, no. I know that voice. It's the Fancy Fancy Noble Club. Otherwise known as <laughs> Patrick. Class 7, I see. I is something the matter? You're just a ragtag bunch of nobodies, aren't you? Come on, we're leaving. Yes, Patrick. A word of advice. You might be part of a special class, but that doesn't change who you are. Never forget your place. <laughs> oh, I wasn't laughing at So either. they're from one of the upper classes. This is why I hate talking to them. Unfortunately, that attitude is all too common among the nobles. Thank goodness Laura and Eusis aren't like that. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty bad. That's the infamous dormitory number one, where all the nobility lives. It's supposed to be super fancy inside, with maids and butlers and everything. Wow, really? Guess that's our cue to pick up the pace. Yeah, sorry. Oh, hey, have you picked out a club to join yet? Doesn't sound like you have to or anything, but it's probably a good way to meet people. An important decision no, for any I'm still looking. It's Oops. hard to decide on one. What club should we join? We don't actually get a choice. I was saying that to be coy, Stand, but... Stand, bow. 
I, I realize some people don't know the story of this game, so. Be seated. I shouldn't give you guys false hopes. Hey, Tomas. As I'm sure you're all well aware, the Erebonian Empire was driven to the brink of collapse roughly 250 years ago. Or the lines. This was brought about by the conflict we know as the War of the Lions. Look at that funky hair! A civil war lasting several years, staged over the throne of the late emperor by the most powerful of his potential successors. But of course, I'm not here to tell you that. If I were, I think even young children would be able to pass this course. <laughs> Rather, I'd like to discuss the effects this had on the Empire as members of the aristocracy were drawn into the war. Many hired mercenaries turned to looting and pillaging, and a similar trend could even be seen among some of the knights. The land was left utterly devastated, and morale was at an all-time low. But then, lo and behold, into this nightmare stepped a man. A man willing to take a stand against this bloody war of succession. He was a wandering prince who began to rally forces from the outskirts of the Empire. And would go on to make quite a name for himself. And that name, of course, was Dreykel's Rice Arnor. Did you get all that, chat? It be on the test. He would later become known as Dreykel's the Lionheart the 73rd Emperor of Erebonia, and father of the Renaissance. Not to mention the founder of this very academy. Dreykel's army was initially rather small in number. But as he traveled across the empire, winning over the hearts of influential sympathizers, his forces rapidly increased. Now, the place where Emperor Dreykel's first began gathering his army was... Reen Schwarzer, oh, would you care to tell the class? I had completely forgotten about this part, but in order to get 100% complete, we're going to have to get all these questions right as well. Thankfully, I do know the answer. Fort Highlands. Fort Highlands, northeast of Erebonia. Very good, Mr. Schwarzer. Prince Dreykel's wanderings led him to the land of Nord, where he lived with the Vagabonds for some time. Don't! No, Thomas! Tomas, you can't say that! Uh, those va- Uh, he heard of the Civil War taking place in Marimonia, and those Vagabonds of Nord became his very first ally. There is someone from the Nord Highlands in the class! Stop calling them Vagabonds! Playing this for another. Playing this after all this time gives me a whole new perspective on this. I didn't realize Tomas's uh, casual racism. <laughs> Thanks, Elisa. I didn't need it, but. Guess he didn't need my help after all. Hmm? Don't worry, Elisa. I saw. AP increased by one. So, you get a rank, you get a grade at the end of every chapter. And to get it in uh, based on how many AP you get, and you get AP by answering questions correctly, um, succeeding in mini games, um, and completing uh, completing missions. In order to get an S, we have to, so we're gonna have to get an S rank in every single chapter, and that necess uh, and the only way to get that is to get every single. Uh, I don't know what AP actually stands for, but every single point. So we have to get every question right. We got to do every quest. Yep, making good decisions, acting appropriately, and completing quests. Academic points, that's what they are. Uh, when you've accumulated enough AP, your rank will increase next time you report a quest. There are 15 ranks, ranging from B7 to A0, so we have to get to A0. You will receive a perk from the academy. There's rewards for every rank. I think the A0 reward nice work, is uh, Master Quartz. You made it through another grueling day of classes. In case you've been living under a rock, please don't forget that tomorrow is your first free day. 
So every month we have these free days, which is our um, it's our social day where it's we go around and we get to spend off, time. But there are no classes, uh, furthering so it's up our to you what to do with, with your time. It's also our time to go uh, to the shops and any preparations between chapters. Why, you could go shopping in the capital if you wanted to. Or just do what I do and sleep all day. Sleep is so wonderful. Um, they... Will the Academy's facilities still be open? Last night Mitch use? was talking about Elliot being uh, his spirit animal. I think Sarah might be. Yes, I'd like to be able to use the free study area in the library myself. Of course, this school shuts down for no one. So feel free to patronize any and all facilities as you like. A lot of clubs have meets scheduled for these free days as well, so anyone who's joined one should probably check on that. I see. I'll be certain to do so. Also, before you leave, we should go over what's happening next week. On Wednesday, you all have your practical exam. A practical exam? Practical exams! What does that entail exactly? It's part of your combat training. I warned you there was going to be tests. I hope you were studying, Jet. You'll be graded on your performance, so make sure you're well rested and ready for battle by then. Might be a good idea to do some training on your own time too, just to keep from getting rusty. Hmm. Interesting. I definitely don't like the sound of that. <laughs> <sighs> oh, and one more thing. I think that was After the practical exam is over. I've got another important announcement about a major part of Class Seven's curriculum that I haven't mentioned at all yet what here it comes so whatever you choose to do on your free day make it count for something that concludes today's homeroom machias if you'll do the honors yes instructor all rise bow I'm a little worried about that practical exam next week. I mean, I'm still just getting used to this staff. I'd be happy to help you train if you need a sparring partner. The gymnasium looks big enough that I'm sure we'd have no trouble finding a good spot for it. That's very kind of you to offer. But I was planning on attempting club practice today. Akiya saw I'm Akiya saw Elliot. Elliot already joined a club. I'm sleeping! Did you pick? I decided to try for the band. Little music boy. Not sure how much use they'll have for a violinist. I didn't know you played the violin. Did you just pick it up for fun? Yeah, something like that. Is it something like that? How about you guys? Have you joined any of the school's clubs? I'm considering joining the art. Art. Somehow, that's not what I pictured for. No pun intended. You have any artistic experience? I dabbled in it back home. Not myself, though, so I feel like this could be a good chance to learn proper technique. Wow, that's pretty cool! I'd love to see some of your work sometime. Well, come stage. Hello, teacher! Is there a problem? No, oh, no, I was just hoping someone could do a teensy little favor for me. Something I need picked up from the student council room. Picked up? What would that be? Eh, that's for me to know and you to find out. All I'll say is it's something absolutely essential to your school life. And somebody needs to go get it, though it doesn't matter who. Any volunteers? I'm trying to tighten the screws on this. You've probably heard me and Anthony complain about this chair is a piece of crap. Granted, it's not really the chair's fault. I've got to hold my hand. Sure, I'll go. 
If I show up in the student council room and tell them you sent me, they'll know why I'm there, right? Wait. You sure you don't mind? You two have clubs to go to, right? I'm still totally undecided, so this shouldn't be a big deal at all. I can look in on a few clubs myself along the way, in fact. Ever helpful, Reen. It's a good personality trait for an RPG protagonist, now that I think about it. Explains how he always gets himself into these situations. Thank you! Student council room is in the student union building next door. At the end of the hall on the second floor. It's open until quite late, so there's no rush. Thank you, my dear. I leave everything in your capable hands. Okay. I'm down a little bit, Sarah. You know, we're not that much older than you, but we are. I mean, sorry. We're not that much younger than you, but we are, in fact, younger than you. Okay. So... Correctly, the student union building should be to the east of the main building. Doesn't seem like this is too urgent. So maybe I'll head over after familiarizing myself with their campus. Now. There's more to Thor's than just the main building and all its classrooms. There are many other facilities located on campus. The auditorium is used for events like the entrance ceremony. We don't get to go in there. building is normally closed, it will be open during certain events. The field, such as practical exams and athletic clubs, this is where we'll find Elisa and Eusis most of the time. Any sports clubs, like the lacrosse and the riding clubs. That's Elisa, so Eusis is closed. Use this area to practice. The gymnasium is used for general training purpose. There you'll find the pool and the training hall. Those two facilities are managed by the swimming and fencing clubs, respectively. As such, the gym's usually a lively spot. The engineering building looks like a shack. You would think engineering would get a little something a little more impressive. It is the de facto place for orbit maintenance and is managed by the engineering club. Well, you can't enter right now, you're going to be there a lot, because that's where we can go to upgrade our gear. The library holds a variety of papers and books for your perusal. It serves as a handy space for study and research. I am actually going to turn off my camera just for a little bit. I will be back, and you can still hear me. I'm going to stand up, shake my legs and everything. You know what I mean. Brush up on all the Zemurian uh, technology you can handle. Zemurian is like a, was it? The is ancient. Student Union Building is a place for students to relax and unite. That's what it's called the Union. Question for the chat. Has anyone been to a school that had a student union? first floor houses some stores and a cafeteria. You'll find the, uh, uh, the culture clubs on the second floor, and even a salon reserved for upper-class students on the third. Culture clubs is things like photography, fishing, chess clubs, stuff like that. Okay. Well, I gotta make sure... Wait. I see you there, Vivi. First, we're gonna save.
Year seems like a long time, but it'll fly by if, if you waste it all studying. It was hard work getting into this academy, so we deserve to have some fun while we're here. The reason I turned the camera off so you can all see it, so you don't have to look at this. Okay. Hey, monk. I don't think there's really anyone much to talk to. There's Rex. There's Rex. Oh, is the lacrosse club here? They are. I knew they was, because Rex was here. Well, she's passing it, to say the least. Running a sports team does seem like it'd be interesting. When you think of a traditional Arabonian sports, the word lacrosse should come screaming into your mind. The three key pillars of the sport are the three kill key pillars of light of youth itself. Friendship, hard work, and success. So who's ready to make the most of their youth with us? Do try to control yourself, Emily. You'll scare them at this rate. I forgot how nuts uh, Emily was at the cross. Are looking at the cross club. Student unions over here. Oh, I want to go in. I'll get this cutscene. student union building. I know the cafeteria is on the first floor, but I wonder where the student council room is. Hey there, first year. Faded meeting. Um... Hey, Crow. How's it going? Academy life been treating you well this past half month? <laughs> the half a month. Oh, yeah, it has. Guess he must be a second year. It's not easy, but I'm managing, mostly. Though I have a feeling it's only going to get harder from here on out. <laughs> of course it will. Your class is gonna be more intense than the others too. But you just hang in there, okay? Uh, okay. Um, uh, wait. You're a second year student, aren't you? Do you mind if I ask your name? Hey now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First things first, how about you let me show you this cool trick I've been practicing? Trick? Hmm, you got a 50 mirror coin I can borrow? Mm. I, I think so. Pretty sure I do anyway. Cheers. All right. Watch closely. Huh? Now, which hand is the coin in? Left or right? It's in your... Ah, I don't do so good under pressure. Ah! Too bad. Doesn't matter. Guess you win. I'm actually pretty good at following moving objects, too. Though, wait, you said this was a trick, which means... You catch on quick. Huh? Hey. <laughs> Keep up the good work, man. You're gonna need to be pretty tough to get through a year with Sarah as your instructor. Oh, and, uh, the student council room is on the second floor, furthest room back. See you around. Have a good weekend. Why does Crow carry his stuff in a rucksack? Wait, my 50... Mira. <sighs> he got me. 
Andy seemed to know I was heading to the student council room, too. Somehow. Nice good. I haven't met many of the second years yet. I wonder if they're all like... Oh well, at least now I know where I'm going. Though, if it really is open late, I guess there's no real rush. I might as well see what else people are up to in here. That's good advice. We're not gonna go in there first. Hey, Machius. Oh, why is he in there? Wrong. It's nothing. Oh well. I suppose I'll just return to the dorms for today. Well, pretty safe bet that we'll, we'll find uses in there. you have a club you should be running off to? Nah, still haven't decided whether I want to join one yet. How about you? Same. None seem to have managed to catch my interest so far. I'm in no hurry. If any have merit, I'll find out sooner or later. Oh, that sounds like you, I guess. You do things at your own pace and at your own discretion, like a noble. <laughs> it doesn't take a noble to exercise critical thinking and sound judgment. If that's all you have to say, then leave me be. Why well, says noble is so distinctive? In noble. I'm not looking to be friends with you or anyone else. Right, sorry to bother. He doesn't want to be my friend! Imperial Highway is a history. Railway is a history. Have a dabba dabba dabba. The Red Imperial Railroad. History has been added to the book notes. No question marks. That's good. Imperial Railroad. Then, now we can go to the Cafeteria sells a number of different kinds of foods. Meanwhile, the store sells combat equipment. Makes it the best place to stock up on supplies or buy new equipment on campus. Ah, oh, it hurts not having tons of mirror. Okay. Hey, check this out! There seem to be a lot of promising newcomers among the first year. It'd be interesting to watch them all develop. I'm pretty curious about that class seven too. I think they have a whole different curriculum than we did. It'd be interesting to see how this plays out. See that? Noble commoner hanging out. Totally can happen. Take that, Patrick. Frickin Patrick. Literature club. Uh, there's nothing up here. Yeah, it's just the salon. For the nobility. No lower class students allowed. <laughs> I should have known as soon as I saw the red carpet. Adventure Club. Hey, Dorothy. Oh, wait, yeah. So these are the culture clubs. We got the lower lower class chess club and I think the high class chess club is somewhere else 
uh, Imperial Fishing Club. I wonder why chess is the only club that's in the Photography Club. Oh, that must be the Dark one. This is Rex's. And then we can't go in here. But it, well, it's unused right now, but it's going to be uh, a cult research club. But for now, you're going to see me saving a lot because we, we can't afford to miss anything. gonna end the afternoon. Hello? It's Toa! Please come in. It's open. I recognize that voice. Pardon the interruption. Oh, you're that girl. two weeks, hasn't it? Welcome to the student council room, Reen Schwarzer. Instructor Sarah sent you, right? Yes. So, you're a member of the student council then? I wonder if she has moved up a few years. Kids. She looks even younger than Fee. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just wondering, um, are you a second year student? <laughs> There's no need for formalities with me. There's no junior or senior in my book. Toa Herschel. The name's Toa Herschel. I'm the student council president. President? <laughs> uh-huh. Does that surprise you? I'm sure I'll have plenty of opportunities to interact with you and the other first years during your time here. So if there's anything you need help with, you just come and let me know, okay? I'll do everything in my power to make it better. Thank you. That's very kind. She's seriously the student council president? That's hard to believe. <coughs> um, so, the reason I've come here is because you're holding on to something for class seven, right? Oh, of course. Here you go. Yours is the one on top. Uh-oh. Need to see if that's being picked up. No, it's not. Amazingly, the dog's barking outside is not being picked up. Let's see. All right, we got our student oh, notebooks. Our student notebooks. I I'm really sorry it's taken so long. Class 7's curriculum is pretty different from any of the other classes. And you're even using a different kind of battle orb mint, so yours had to be compiled separately. Meaning these notebooks have information in them about... The Arcus, yes. All the student notebooks double as instruction manuals for their accompanying battle orb mints. And the other first years are all using the same type as last year, so we could just reuse last year's template. But the Arcus type you're using works quite differently, so we had to write a whole new set of directions from scratch. Okay, that makes sense. But wait, who's we? Pretty much just me. Instructor Sarah asked me to do it on her behalf. Bella is an adorable little workaholic. Which means it's my fault this has taken so long. I'm really sorry. Oh, no, no. If anything, it, it sounds like we owe you a huge debt of gratitude for putting so much time and effort into it. Is that really part of the student council's job, though? It seems more like something our instructor should be handling herself. Technically, you're right, but she's always so busy. And I help out the other instructors a lot, too, so I don't mind lending her a hand from time to time. Hmm. What a nice person. Maybe a little too nice for her own good. I doubt she ever gets a moment's rest around here. So, you just need me to give these to the other students in Class 7, right? Yes, please. I 
really appreciate what you've all agreed to do, too. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> I heard all about it from Instructor Sarah. She said you've agreed to help out the student council with our work. Right? It's such a nice gesture. You're really getting Class 7 off to a great start here at the Academy. Um... I'm sorry, I, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I think Sarah's got some explaining. Didn't you tell her that you wanted to help ease our workload? Something about wanting to better yourselves? To prove you were worthy of being a part of this prestigious new class? She said you were all really eager to help out. So I should try to delegate some of my duties to you. Thank you, my dear. I leave everything in your capable hands. Why, indeed. Why, <laughs> indeed. I, I'm sorry. Did I misunderstand her or something? Oh, how embarrassing. I didn't mean to start trying to force work onto you when you've only just enrolled. <sighs> There's no way I can turn her down. Hey, come on in, Tay. No, no. Instructor Sarah is absolutely right. You Your plate is it, as full but... as I've seen, so if I can help you in any way, please let me. I thought there had been a terrible misunderstanding there for a moment. <laughs> but don't worry, I won't give you anything too difficult. It'll mostly just be fulfilling requests from people in the Academy and in Trista. Requests? Yep. Sometimes people send in feedback and list things they'd like us to do for them. And we try to help out however we can. These are quests! I'll pick some up for you to do by the end of the day and drop the list in your mailbox at your dorm tomorrow morning. Will that be okay with you? Sure thing. Thanks. Should be nighttime now. Yes. All right. It's going good. I saw you were playing Minecraft earlier. How, uh, how's that going? Dusk already? <sighs> what a day. So far, so good. We got, we picked up the secret book. We got the question right. I can't believe she wound up treating me to dinner in the cafeteria. And she's still got more student council work to do. I just do had that. a dinner date with Della. How is she so busy? The very, um, very busy hello? workaholic. This is Reed Schwarzer speaking. Student council friend. Guten Tag, my favorite little wunderkind. German a thing in this world? I hear you had a nice little dinner date with the student council president. Ooh la la. If this is how you treat your favorite little wunderkind, I dread to think how you treat people you don't like. Finished Res Evil 7 yesterday. Very cool. Nice chill stream, that sounds good. Would you care to explain why you've been signing me up for things behind my back? I'll skip the details for now. But yeah, so Sarah signed us up with the other to help the student council behind be her back. Next week. So we are an unofficial member of the student council. I thought it'd be a good chance for one of you to do a little rehearsal before the main event. This dialogue's important. And since the student council truly is busy, I figured, why not kill two birds with one stone? A fine plan, if I do say so myself. So Sarah's about to outline the theme of this whole story. I have a feeling half the reason they're as busy as they are is because of certain instructors. But all right, I'm happy to play along. Basically, you just want me to spend my free day tomorrow helping the student council, right? Oh, that's entirely up to you. If there's a club you're interested in joining, far be it from me to force you away from it. No, to be honest, I still haven't found one that really clicks with me, so that won't be a problem. There is one question I'd like to ask, though. Why me, exactly? <sighs> this seems like the kind of task typically entrusted to the class president or vice president. So, Emma, or Machias. And even if you were choosing based on social class, Eusus and Laura were both born into noble families. I wasn't. So what makes me so special, exactly? <laughs> well, in a sense, you're effectively at the center of class seven. Hmm, pardon? I'm not saying you're its leader, of course, but in a class full of nobles, commoners, and exchange students, you in particular are special. Surely even you can see that, no? Well... A 
That's why I decided to give you first dibs, so to speak. I wanted to get an idea of how things might go from here on out. There's never been a class like yours before, after all. So there you have it. The beans have been spilled all over the place. Falls Ew. in your court now. Beans. <laughs> Wait, what are you drinking? Booze. Duh. Beer, of course. It's the weekend, and I'm stuck wasting away in my room, imbibing libations. Alas, all by my lonesome. All by my lonesome. Uh, yes, last night, Mitch was saying that Elliot is his spirit animal. I'm pretty sure Sarah might be mine. If only I had a classic like Sleeping, hanging out alone in a room, drinking. But woe of woes, such a man is nary to be found. Not bad part. Um, are you okay? Never better. But you, instead of trying to put everything in its place, why don't you just go with the flow for a change? It seems like you're desperately trying to find something. But if you don't plant yourself somewhere, you're just going to blow away with the next big gust that comes along. Boom. That is the core theme of this entire game series. Or at least the Cold Steel uh, Quadrilogy? Series? Series. We'll just call it Series. If you don't plant yourself somewhere, you're just gonna blow away with the next big gust. The message is basically, find your place in the world and then commit to it. <laughs> and on that note, make sure you're back in the dorm by curfew and all transgressions will be forgiven. Toodles! If I don't plant myself somewhere, huh? She may have a few screws loose, but she's got a point. Yeah, Maybe I should it is just a good try message. going with the flow and see what comes of it. Also a really real message, which is kind of par for the course here. This game isn't afraid to pull punches. I mean, doesn't, isn't afraid to not pull punches. Chapter one, unconventional studies. All right. There was a lot of like cutscene and dialogue in last night's stream, which is always going to be that. It's a big story driven JRPG. After relaxing his room, he's going to walk the dorms. Uh, but now we're getting into like the actual game of it. So there's going to be a little less just watching cutscenes. Nighttime. Presentella left me in charge of handing out everybody notebooks. Tomorrow's our first free day, so I should get this done with tonight. Explore Class 7's dorms on the night before each free day. Be aware that the story will progress should you return to Reen's room. So every month, every chapter is like a month, right? Every month, you get a, a free day, right? And that free day is, like, to go and, you know, get all your social interactions, go to shops, upgrade gear, any sort of preparation between chapters. Elliot. Prop. Something the matter. Hopefully you had a lot of fun in band, Elliot. Elliot joined the band. He's a violinist. Joe so gave me Class 7 student handbook to hand out earlier, so I'm just going around delivering them. Here's yours, Elliot. Ooh, thanks. Anyway, were you playing the violin in here? Sorta. It's pretty late. Well, I wasn't really playing, per se. Just doing the fingering and motions. I used to do that so many times in high school. I was in band. The wind orchestra isn't meeting tomorrow, so I thought I should get in some practice tonight instead. Wow, you're really into your music, huh? I can't imagine most people being that invested in their hobbies. Your room's chock full of musical stuff, too. 
it's not that much obvious, uh, honestly. It'd be nice if the walls in these dorms were a bit more soundproof, though. Then I'd be able to play all night long without bothering anyone. Okay, like a true music nerd. Yeah, look at this. He's got a violin here. He's got a violin in, in his hand. Sheet music over here. A radio. Uh, uh, two. What? What do you need all these instruments? Why do you need two of the. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four. I mean, I know it's just kind of the convenience of using the same model, but why do you need three of the same instrument? I know the one in your hands is smaller, right? But still, like, why do you need... These aren't cellos. They're too small to be cellos. Why do you need all of them? Too much music, my bo my guy. Yeah, knock on the doors. This is Machius's room. What is it? It's me, Reen. I've got something for you. I'll be right there. Boo! Trying to make you go through all that trouble. Oh, don't worry about it. Were you in the middle of studying there? I'm sorry if I interrupted you. No need to be sorry for that. How did you know I was studying, though? You've got pencil marks all over the sides of your hands. Reen's, uh, Reen's a sharp boy. That's like, that's some Detective Conan stuff right there. You should make sure to do plenty of studying yourself. You don't want to find yourself falling behind. Good advice, number two student, vice president. Suppose you're right. Most of our classes seem like they'll be, they'll be plenty hard, too. Pretty hard, sorry. Agreed. Besides, it'll be a chance to show up those snobby upper class students. See you tomorrow, then. Yeah, good night. Okay. So this is... Okay, this is the, the other big... Uh, the other big part of the 100% is every character, almost every character, uh, we'll say every recurring character, has a character profile. Each question mark is a, di a different um, little factoid, a little piece of information about them. We need to we need to complete all of them. This is the part. This is this one. This one right here is the reason why we have to do this on New Game Plus. We can't. We couldn't. We can't complete this all on the first playthrough. Books. Help. This is the only thing you missed before you came, Tay. It is academic points. Making good decisions, acting appropriately, completing quests will get you academic points, which um, you accumulate, rank up. Each rank gives you a reward up to the top rank, which is A0. In 100%, we have to get A0, and that requires every single act academic point. So we have to get every question right every like in class question we have to do every single quest and there's not uh, story quest side quest and there's even hidden quests that don't e don't show up in like the quest list or anything we have to do those as well that's why i have the guide here we gotta do everything perfect on top of scanning all the monsters and getting all the Oh, hey guys. Guys joined the art club. Evening ring, what's up? Actually, I was just looking for you. I got your student notebook here. Here you go. Green handed guys a student notebook. Oh, I was wondering when that'd come. Thanks. Sorry to make you go out of your way to deliver it. No worries. Your room's got a really distinctive feel to it. What's that hanging on the wall? It's a sort of ornament made in the Nord Highlands. Where he's from. That'd be a nice way to bring the spirit of my homeland along with me. I see, it really does give the room an exotic feel. You got your brushes out too, so I'm guessing you're going to spend tomorrow painting. 
Yep, I'm planning to head over to the art club. Feel free to come along if you feel like it. Will do. Uh, this thing. Alright. It's hard to explain how weird the movement is sometimes. Especially in small places like this. Eustace's room. Who's there? It's me, Irene. I got your student notebook. Very well. He talks fancy because he's noble. <laughs> you have my thanks. I'll mention it. Mind if I ask what you were up to? I was simply reading. Oh, what kind of book? A biography I borrowed from the library. Why must I indulge your mundane little questions? Okay, calm down, buddy. While we may live in the same dorm, the two of us are perfect strangers. Your proximity to me does not give you license to intrude on my private life. Damn, Eusis, you cold. You're right. Sorry about that. Pay no mind. Also, I suggest you be more mindful of when and to whom you volunteer your time. Otherwise, people will be more than happy to simply use you at every turn. Is that meant to be a warning? Doesn't seem like an easy guy to make friends with, that's for sure. Maybe he's got a good heart. Maybe. So all the guys. Now we go upstairs for the girls. Da-da-da! First is... Fee! Who's there? It's me, Reen. I got something for you. Coming. Cheers. <sighs> oh, were you asleep? I didn't mean to wake you up. It's fine. Surprised you went to sleep this early, though. I mean, we just had dinner. I didn't have anything else to do. You done? Y yeah, I just wanted to give you the notebook. Right. Not a conversationalist. Me! On! It's a unique one, that girl. I wonder how she ended up a student here, anyway. Uh, Elisa? Yes. I need to give Elisa her student hand. Oh! Here we go. This is... Ooh! This isn't gonna be... Who is it? It's me, Rain. What do you want? What are you even thinking coming to some innocent girl's room this late at night? I'm thinking I got your book. Okay, good point. I wouldn't have under normal circumstances, but there's something I need to give you. Rain explained that Toa asked him to hand out everyone's student notebooks. Oh. Okay, wait a moment. There's a bunny on the shelf! Hurry up and hand it over. Okay, just hold on a second. Green took out Elisa's notebook. Should be this one. Let's see. Elisa right. Don't read that! Lisa snatched up the student's notebook. Can't let my guard down for around you for a second, can I? Sorry, I can't tell which notebook is, is which without looking inside. I didn't mean any harm. So you say. Anyway, what's all, that's all you wanted, isn't it? Good night, then. Um, a rumph! It's off to back off for tonight. Seems that R is just an initial. I didn't finish reading her full name before she snatched it out of my hands, though. Is there a reason she's hiding it? Next is Emma. Yes, who is it? Me, hey, Reen. You got a moment? Ah, Reen. I'll be right there. That was my wife. Thank you. Oh, on an unrelated mo note, how are you planning on spending the day tomorrow? I'm thinking I'll help out the student council. What about you? I plan on looking at some more clubs. I haven't seen what the culture clubs have to offer yet, so I'll be visiting them tomorrow. 
All right, joining a club does sound like a good idea. Let me know if any of them seem really good. All right, I will. Also, I do hope you're able to make up with Elisa soon. Did you hear us just now? Well, you weren't exactly quiet. I think Elisa still needs to sort out her feelings about everything. But what? She fell on me! It was an accident! Don't worry, I'm sure it'll all work out in the end. Thanks. Night, Emma. Good night. Thank you for bringing me my notebook, too. Bye, Emma. And last but not least, Laura. In Laura's room. Uh, Laura? In there? Is that you, Reen? Uh, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. She's got like a super... Like a confident voice. Thank you for taking the time to deliver it to me. Don't worry about it. What are you doing anyway? You didn't hear me knocking and you're covered in sweat. I was just practicing with a wooden sword. I must have been so focused on my practice that I didn't hear you knock at first. That's some concentration, all right. Maybe I should do some practicing when I get back to my room, too. I certainly don't want to neglect your training. I'd enjoy it if I had someone to duel with sometime, too. Well, then, good night. Good night. Okay. That is everybody. Yes? Yes, that is it. No reason to stick around tonight. Sarah's downstairs. Say anything to her? You really can't beat an ice cold beer after work. Oh, wait. Maybe you can with two ice cold beers. You can. She's got two. You've been drinking all night? Please try not to fall asleep here, okay? I don't want you to catch a cold. Don't you worry your pretty little head about me. I'm indestructible. Especially since I've got the day off tomorrow. You say that like it totally excuses your entire night of drinking. Well, anyway, you were nice enough to take on some work for the student council, so that's a load off my shoulders. I'm looking forward to seeing how you perform tomorrow. Wow. Right. You went from plastered to bastard in the blink of an eye. <laughs> I completely forgot. <laughs> I forgot about that line. <laughs> Someone take a snapshot. She went from plastered to bastard in the blink of an eye. Where's my phone? Like there's a lot more to her than I thought. Okay, there's no there's no more reason to be here tonight. Let's go to bed. Start the next day. Uh, oh, today, yeah, it's good. Okay, our first social day. Finally, took a bit longer to get here than I thought, but we're here. So far, we're all good. There is a hidden quest tonight uh, on April 18th. I'm gonna have to make sure we get it. But it's not until evening. Student council tasks. So, required. The old schoolhouse. History about the old schoolhouse. Horrible delivery. That's George. And Colette has lost her student notebook. The old schoolhouse one is a recurring quest. That's how we're going to end every social day. One from the principal, one from the engineering club, and hey, one from another first year. Colette. 
Certainly wasn't expecting a request from the principal as one of my first assignments. I hope I don't screw it up. Curious about the one from Engineering Club, too. Sounds interesting. Got all day, so let's just dive in. Okay. You can now view the quest. Bada bada. Yep. Two bonding points. I should have more than two, right? Yeah, three. Because... Oh. Weather's beautiful today. Right then, let's head out. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna just skip past all this. This is just saying the different stores. Okay. You can now use the square button for quick travel. Let's see. Uh, so, there are three bonding events. Those are the yellow exclamation points. Normally we would have two, we have three. That was the reason we needed to do this on New Game Plus. Make sure that we had... Make, sorry, make sure we had enough uh, bonding to be able to get all of the, to be able to do all the bonding. So, here, April 18th, yes. Yep. In the building. Yeah. Okay. Not gonna go there yet. I'm gonna trigger this cutscene. Kenneth! And the weather's perfect today. Fish are really gonna be fighting today. Looks like he's a student from one of the upper classes. Hey there, haven't met you yet. Got one of those red uniforms on, so I guess you're class seven? That's right, name's Reen Schwarzer. First year two? Yep, Kenneth Lake Lord, class two. Part of the Imperial Fishing Club. Not gonna lie, I always thought Kenneth was a year older than you. Really laid back, you'd like it. Yeah, pleasure's all mine, because he's my senpai in the fishing club. Likewise. Pretty laid back himself, especially for a noble. Thinking the Imperial Fishing Club's about... Fishing? Catch on quick. Just is supposed to be a great place for fishing. I hear there's a ton of different fish you can catch here. I'm just trying to figure out the right spot. Seems like you're having fun, at least. You've done a bit of fishing in your time, haven't you? You're like giving it another shot. Well, sure, but how'd you know that? Just a hunch. Well then, from one fisherman to another, boom, fishing book and beginner ride. You sure I can have these? I feel kind of bad just getting all this stuff for nothing. Not even sweat it. The Imperial Fishing Club's here to spread the joy of fishing. So it's all good. This is another thing we'll have to 100%. We'll have to catch every fish in the game. We'll be starting off as a white angler. Don't think too much about that. Just fish away to your heart's content. What? Just ignore that for now. It's not all that important. Once you started landing some big catches, come back and talk to me. I'll trade you some cool prizes for your points. What's going on? Now that you got that all explained, it's time for me to head off. I'll be fishing at the pond on campus if you want to join me. There's two fishing points in Tristan. Gotta make sure we get everything we can out. Krista, 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 Krista. listed one of them twice. Okay. So there's five we can get in Trista right now. Out of the, um, 20. Let's see. Label says it's made by the Lake Lord Company. Wait a minute. Isn't Lake Lord his last name? His family must be pretty famous. Experts on fishing. Yes. 
So there's the river. So how much can I get in the river? One, two. You can fish a set number of times. Get you fish, you earn a point, a point. You can fish a set number of times, so that means. Hold on. fish five times round me and I have 13 okay so we're we're good okay right it's not until the later games that we have that you have to buy bait I only have the beginner run all right let's get some pushing done the button mashing so sorry for the clicking noise you're about to hear oh I'm not gonna be able to catch that am I Yeah, I'm not supposed to be able to catch something that big yet. I actually did it. Wow, this is a big one. Catfish, heck yeah. Okay, so catfish caught. That's crazy. This is, um, Oh dear. I just learned the hard way that the guide I have doesn't help me. Hold on. Because that's a fish. Number one, according to this guide, I'm, I'm not, I don't have the right fishing pole for the fish I just caught. And also, I'm not in the right place. Uh, I need a better guide. one. Hold on, everyone. That is a catfish. Yeah, I'm not supposed to have caught that yet. Catfish. Lake Lord Star, Spina Biden. That stresses me out. Okay, we'll just have to uh, do all the fishing we can. something we're supposed to be seeing. Hey, okay. Sagan? Not bad. Oh, a rock eater. Yeah. That was my mind. Okay. 
Okay. It's a little nervous. <laughs> Makes me a little nervous, but Tail. Perfect. Sword tail. Not bad. Saga. Fish was a surprise. We're gonna go to the bar. Right now, I've got two hundred points. Thanks. Oh gosh, it's out there. All right, I need to focus. They did it again. There's another fish that I'm not supposed to be able to catch yet. I mean, technically, it's not a fish. Salamander. What even is this? But at least this one's labeled properly. It is, in fact, Trista Pond. Restful now. Crab? You like the crab? Oh, crab. It's not the white crab. That is the, uh. Great what even is this? Oh, that is crab. Picked up. I'm drowning. Fishy. I'm gonna try it. Now that's a catch. Rails, old steel, fine. Flat And then it's just the list of all the tricks. It says the exact same thing. What the heck? I'm so confused. Arawoo, ar 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 ar
Well, other, so far, other than the catfish, everything's on the up and up. a smaller salamander. You. What oh, even is also this? a salamander? Wait, what? What did I pick up before? Oh, the pale salamander. Also, a fish that I was not supposed to catch here. What was that? That's <laughs> twice now. The first time I fished at e each place. Okay, there's the white crab. Finally, something that makes sense. Not bad. Paranoid, but that threw me off so hard. I'm, I'm more than a little worried. Okay. Hi, Fee. Okay, here's nice. Might be good for having. Okay. Leave the building. Okay. I need to go to the bookstore. Because there's another book. chapter one. Okay. Books. Rose. Oh, this is about... I was pushing the wrong buttons. This is... I know who this is about. But yeah, this is about the vampire murders. Don't worry. In the universe of this game, the, uh, I, the vampire story is completely fiction. It's completely fiction. Hmm. Okay. So I have the book. I have the Imperial Chronicle 1. Buy it just to be. I was gonna say just to be. If I can help, sure. What happens? <laughs> Could you compare these to the pair I'm wearing? You want to know which ones are cute? Uh, but uh, what? Yep, that's Vivi. That's Vivi for you. Thank you. 
or the prank. Do I have a habit of not getting rid of stuff? Do I wonder? Do I have? I do. Taking that as cute to uh, upgrade the stuff. his weapon actually but not quite yet not here I think that's just the weapon shot That guy from class seven. You want the student council when I wasn't looking? Eh, nothing like that. I'm just helping. Student council president told me to handle your request. Oh, so that's how it is. Both first years, you seemed more grown up than me. People in class seven must be amazing. No big deal. So you wrote what you, that you needed help looking for your student notebook. I've been looking everywhere I could think of since this morning, but there's no sign of it. I mean, you're gonna start looking right away? They said if one person wasn't able to help, they'd send someone else. I see, so that's how Toa has this all arranged. Well, sure, you can count on me. Thank you. Before we get too excited, I'll need a bit more information. To have any hope of finding it? Can you tell me when you first noticed you dropped your notebook? Right after school yesterday when I went to borrow a book from the library. You can't borrow books without your notebook, so I went to take it out, and I couldn't. Because it wasn't there. Yesterday after school. Got it. When was the last time you had it? Probably right when classes had finished after, uh, for the day yesterday. Still in the classroom. I remember using it to take notes when I was talking with my friends, so I definitely had it then. Guess I must have dropped it somewhere between my classroom and the library. I see. That narrows it down. Did you just stop anywhere on your way to the library? Well, after I left the main building, I came to the student union. Pretty sure I went to the library after that. Could be anywhere. Right. There really aren't that many places where you could have dropped it. The best way to go is to split the search. Yes. I'm hoping it's there because I searched the library this morning. The rooftop's out because the janitor said he didn't notice it when he was doing his morning cleaning. Main building it is. I don't think you need to check him. I searched my classroom yesterday and didn't go into any of the others. Probably be a good idea to focus on the halls feeling that's the main deal. They're really spelling it out for me. You can stay here, search here. Yeah. They're really, uh... They really narrowed that down for me. I know. I, I do... There's a few points where I kind of wish they would, like, trust the player to make the connection for themselves just kind of pay attention.
This, there's another identical Colette. This is her. No, nope. Colette does not have a twin sister named Colette. There's only one pair of twins in this class, in this school. Let's not. Did you find it? Yeah, assuming this is actually your notebook. You're right, it's mine! The only form of ID we students have! Especially since our instructor would have chewed my head off. I need to get another one. Thanks so much, Breen. Oh, she's sniffling. She's sniffling! I didn't know it was so important to you. Glad I was able to help you out. By the way, where did you end up finding it? Oh, it was the sofas on the second floor of the main building that people use as a rest area. Exactly where we sat. Found one of those. The sofas on the side. Oh, I guess I did chill there for a second. Come to think of it, I think I dropped it when I was sitting down once before. I heard it falling out of my pocket that time, though, so I didn't end up losing it. Why would sitting down do that? What pocket do you put in your notebook in? One of my skirt. There's no way there is room in that skirt for a pocket. That makes sense. A lot of boys use their pants pockets, too. You might want to try using your jacket pocket from now on. It's not going to fall out of there. That's where I usually put mine, and I've never had any problems. We've got those? I'm more blown away by the skirt pocket. Well, I don't know if the girls' jackets are different than the guys' are, but I don't see why you wouldn't. Hold on, let me check. Wow, you're right. I had no idea this was even here. There's no way my notebook will fall out of one of these. Thanks for the tip. Solve all the pocket problems. You've been a big help. Board, silver chain. I couldn't possibly. Don't worry about it. I bought one for myself the other day and I ended up ordering two by mistake. Just like this laptop desk that I'm. that the laptop is on. That's why the camera is higher than it normally is. Accidentally bought two. Anthony gets an early Christmas gift. First, I have to go to Marionville. Hey, George. Good to see ya. You're the person who... Does anyone mind if I start f going faster through the... Just these non-voice dialogues? You're the person who was with President Toe when I first arrived at the Academy. You got a good memory. George No. I'm George No. Second year, class three. Also head of the engineering club. Irene Swarger, class seven. Nice to meet you. Noah told me that you're helping out the student council. I've probably got a lot to learn about the academy since you just enrolled, or you got it, but good luck with everything. Thank you very much, but I'm curious. It's an engineering building, right? What's with all the machines? Oh, sorry, with the machines and equipment, it certainly fits the bill. You can basically think of it as our orbit factory. Engineering Club's been in charge of main, uh, maintaining orbits here for a long time now. 
Now that's pretty impressive. I assume you repaired all the stuff you wanted me to deliver for this request, too. That's right, I handle that stuff at the engineering club, too. Usually deliver them myself, but I'm a little busy this morning. Can I ask you to do it for me? Of course. He repaired a bunch of people's absorbments, and now we're gonna deliver them. Here's the orbital scale, which I need delivered to the cooking club. Yes, I know where that is. Omac, Omac, bro. Next two are both in town. So you take requests from people outside the academy. So much talk about the club that I started getting requests from people in Tristan. No reason to me for me to refuse them, so I do as much as I can to help. Well, that explains how you end up so busy. Sure does. The second delivery is an antique orbal lamp that goes to Mict, I believe. Yep, back to the pawn shop. Orbal lamp, pawn shop. Last is an orbal wristwatch. This is going to Michael over at Radio Tristan. Just let the receptionist know why you're there, and she'll call Michael. Everything. Club is on the second floor. Yep. Hey, Nicholas. Nicholas looks like a nice guy, doesn't he? This is what you've been waiting on? Yep, there's the orbital scale. It's really just a scale for measuring weight. The loss with Adam, George's many talents aside, I didn't even know tools like this existed. Pretty impressive, isn't it? These can provide more accurate minuscule measurements to, than an analog scale. Put a container full of ingredients, and it'll even subtract the container's weight. It's handy. You don't have any an interest in cooking by any chance, do you? I haven't given it much thought, to be honest, but I'm kind of curious. I'll be looking for myself from now on anyway. You'd be surprised how many students here can't. Here's the thing. The cafeteria might be cheap, but it'll cost more Mira uh, than making it yourself would. Have you even tried to cook anything yet? Not yet. Don't even know where to start. Which means you're as virgin as my olive oil. Nice. If you want to start cooking, I'd recommend you yeah, start cooking. Just make something. Doesn't matter what. I'll tell you what. I'll even give you this to get you started. Recipe book. That's the other thing we'll have to do for 100%. And to top it off, here's a really easy recipe to get started. You got all the ingredients you need right here. Help yourself. Recipe list. Yeah, tons of them. It sparks a fire for cooking in your heart, it'll all be worth it. Got it. I'll be sure to get some use out of it then. Well, thanks again for bringing me my horrible scale. Pass my thanks on to George for fixing it, too. Boo. Now you can take ingredients and turn them into delicious food. Uh, you can receive recipes from various people, but that's not the only way to get it. You might find them while searching specific areas, cooking, or even just trying new food or drink. Yep. Now we have the whole book to us. Simple omelet. So, I have to not only get the recipes, I have to cook at least one of every single thing. Okay, let's give let's this try a try. Try having Rain cook an omelet. Hmm, there we go. Oh, okay. That's that. And actually...
actually, we're gonna go... Let's go do some of the, the bonding stuff, shall we? Go to the gym, talk to Lauren. Lauren's in the pool, because she's gonna join the swim club. Good day, Reen. Have you come for a swim, too? Not quite. Surprised the swimming club's active at this time of year, though. Well, it's true the winter swimming isn't for everyone. Water is rather chilly, but I think it makes for good training. get Link experience, but we don't even get a... There's not a... There's not a character... There's not a profile page in it. So we might as well. About to test my short distance swimming speeds. You can record my time? Sure, I can do that. Hey, bonding event! Let's hang out with Laura! <sighs> Just a so-so time. So-so, you tore across the pool. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're part fish. Let's not go overboard. I'm a fish. My father is a dolphin. In fact, he could probably outswim one. Maybe, but he's the radiant braid ma blade master. His swimming prowess doesn't make yours any less amazing. No kidding. I could hardly take my eyes off her while she was in the water. Is there a reason you're staring at me? Uh, uh, uh don't mind me. <laughs> Take it swimming's a specialty, then? Perhaps more habit than specialty. The Graham is, uh, yeah, the Graham is located alongside the lake, and I used to swim there in the winter to train. It seems that doing so has slightly improved my swimming in general. I don't know if the word slightly applies here. Given your upbringing, I initially assumed that you'd join a more combat oriented. But I see now that even swimming can contribute to your training. That's the hope. My father once told me there are things about the sword we can only learn by stepping outside of its shadow. I had every intention to put those words into practice upon entering the academy. Your dedication to the sword doesn't surprise me. The way it influences so much of your life seems very you. To be honest, I'm a bit jealous. There's no need for that. You have your sword, you can do the same. I guess you're right. Forget I say. Let's see. Regardless, thank you for timing me. Seems I'll have to train even harder from here on out. Best of luck. I know you can do it. Laura's got a good message there. No reason you can't do what Laura does. We're already link level. We carried over link level. But might as well. Hey, check it out, everyone. It's Monica. We saw her on the first day of class. Look at how cool the second year with the blue hair is. I've been checking out the different sports clubs, but I think this one might be the one for me. Maybe if I join, I'll be able to get as confident and strong as she is. Is she confusing Laura with a second year? She does have that, uh, that Onesan kind of air to her. Bridget! My old friend Alan apparently joined the fencing club, so I thought I'd pay him a visit. Who's really busy right now? Oh, Bridget! Bridget and Alan. Best buddies. Okay. Next, we're gonna go talk to Elliot. Elliot will give us a character profile page. So this is perfect. Looking pretty busy, Elliot. I eh, just got some packages from home. Heavy ones at that. Just carried them up here and I'm already totally beat. Leave that. Seems like there's food in one of these too, so I should probably go through them. Can I give a hand? Yes. Feel like you could use a hand. Mind if I help out? Oh, I'd sure appreciate it. And now they began sorting out the packages that Elliot received from done with about half of them. I didn't expect it to be quite this much of everything. 
There has to be a month's worth of food in here, not to mention a bunch of clothes and other daily necessities. I didn't expect to meet. Now I feel bad for dragging you into it. My sister's way too protective of me sometimes. Who say that? You got a sister? Yeah, he's got a hot older sister. <laughs> Come on in. An older one, yeah. She's always been a bit on the clingy side. I'm grateful she sent me a care package, but I wish she'd tone it down a bit. I'm not a kid. Anymore. I'll know, Elliot. <laughs> you have that kind of you have that kind of energy. Mean it? I think it's kind of nice. You can tell she really cares about you. Uh oh. What's up? Elliot took a worn-looking piece of sheet music out of the box. That sheet music? It looks like someone got a lot of use out of it. I used to practice with this all the time back home. To tell you the truth, I actually wanted to enter a music academy before I ended up here. Really? I guess joining the orchestra wasn't just a casual thing. Yep, this is our music boy! A little music buddy. He's a little music. Ever since I was younger, but in the end I wasn't all that serious about it, so I ended up choosing fours. Here. Really? Either way, it's nice to hear you play sometime. Sure, one of these days. Okay. So this one actually gets us a bonding. Uh, a, um, a, uh, a profile page. music. Has loved music since he was a child, and originally wanted to attend a music academy instead of tours. Okay. That's done. Machias is the next one. Machias is just expanse. But it's fine. I was surprised to find that, in spite of its quaint size, this town has all the shops one could possibly want. This cafe has a rather pleasant atmosphere, too. It seems like the perfect environment for study. Yeah, but certainly feels like a town built around the academy. It's a school town. College town. Academy town. I had to hand it to you, though. You're really dedicated to your studies. Just doing what's expected. Of this brings me back to college, not gonna lie. <laughs> Sitting at a table outside a cafe like a 20-page paper I gotta write. Have, uh, Frank uh, a cup of real shitty donut holes. <laughs> Maybe this would be a good chance to go. No, yeah, yeah, let's hang out with Bacchus. Let's go. Not at all. I was just thinking about taking a break myself. Hang on, I need a drinking glass. Not the same through a straw. Hold on. Sip, sip, sip. You can tell this cafe uses some high quality beans for its Ah yes, Machias. The the uh the coffee junkie. It's a rich flavor behind the initial bitterness. The fragrance is utterly fantastic. Take it you're pretty knowledgeable when it comes to coffee. Mainly due to my dad. He's been drinking it as long as I can remember. Thanks to him, I started drinking it while I was studying, which gradually gave me a taste for it. That explains it. Actually makes me curious about the kind of person Governor Regnant's in. Speaking of which, is that tea I see you drinking? It is. I'm way more used to tea than I am coffee. Akis does not look impressed with my choice of drink. Tea here is nice and relaxing, too. Not sure I'll ever understand the appeal. It doesn't help that I always associate it with nobles. In fact, I saw one particularly irritating noble arrogantly sipping away at a cup. Machias, you gotta, you gotta do something about this, this hate boner for the nobles, buddy. 
This can't be anyone other than Yusus. How do you how do you sip arrogantly? I didn't mean to rant. I didn't mean to sound like I was judging you. You're not even a noble. Don't even worry about it. Why don't you give it a try, though? You might actually end up liking it. Guess I could. You should try some coffee. Are they gonna swap? They each poured some of their drinks into the other's cup. I can't remember whether they hate it or like it. You were right, this isn't so bad. Ah, glad to hear it. Actually, might consider coffee next time. I'm really studying. Gives you share between the ears. Why don't the two of us study here sometime then? Sounds like a plan. Friendship! We'll make you friends! Now all we gotta do is be friends with Yusus and then a friendship brigade will begin. Okay, that's all the bonding. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's kind of fine. The pawn shop's right over here. Ba -da 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 -da. Perfect. He's got no time for your nonsense. Got some business here, kid, or are you just window shopping? I'm gonna give you something from the engineering club. Ah, George, fix that thing already. Well, hand it over, will ya? This guy doesn't seem too friendly. Kid does nice work. I swear, why does being a pawnbroker have to be such a pain in the ass sometimes? Who'd have thought an item break right after I paid for it? Pretty nasty surprise. You get a lot of students in here, out of curiosity. Fair few, sure. What, you looking for some money? I don't lend money to kids. You kids can think of this place as an exchange shop. So like, items for items? Oh yeah, I think I got something in a while back that a kid like you'd like. It's yours. Play deck. There's a card game. Seems that way. Some good-for-nothing second year brought it in. Can't say I've ever bothered to play, but you can give it a try. Or don't. Or burn it, for all I care. I have a strange feeling he just gave me this because he didn't have anywhere to put it. Oh, well. One thing, my shop's got the finest selection of curios and all of Tristan. If you don't see anything you like, come back later. Change up the good sometimes. I feel like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, curios. Now, this will be handy. Right now, it's just these things. But what the curios part of this is, is items that are unique to certain locations in the game. Because you don't get to go back. If I miss something... I, like a book or something, I should be able to buy it here. The real appeal is the exchange, where I can exchange items for other items. I can exchange you material from a ground mate. Zemur uh, I can also make Zemurian ore shards. Zemurian is, you need those to make the strongest weapon. Because it's New Game Plus that I can. This is the part I really care about. Higher quality games. And then this is... I already went... This is the grocery. Yep. All the foods. It's Hugo! Uh, oh, Radio Tristan. Uh, 
I gotta help you. Someone named Michael. Got a delivery from engineering, and ideally, I'd like to take it to him directly. Yes! With the glasses. Look at this guy. He looks like he could be my dad. Try to keep you awake. Said you got a delivery from the engineering club. Do indeed, here it is. There's the wristwatch. Starting a new show tonight, so I'm feeling all nervous without a quick way to check the time. What does checking the time have to do with your show? Things will be just fine now, though. Well, you know, it starts at 9 tonight. If things work out, Radio Trist is guaranteed to see a pretty big increase in popularity. Which means I'll be one step closer to achieving my dream of... Ah, uh, sorry about be getting all excited like that and boring you with my life story? Not at all! I'm of the opinion that being passionate about what you do is a good thing. But if you want to make me feel more alive, tune into the show tonight! I would if I had an orbital radio. I've well, gotta head back. Sound producer's in there waiting for me. Normally I'd treat you to some tea or something, but today's busy. Well, George, thanks. Good luck with the show. Okay, now I can go tell George. George! All three of them. Nice work. Now that you're finished delivering those, what did you think of the places you delivered them to? Well, they're certainly all unique. None of them are places that I'd normally go. I might have wandered in the home economics room eventually, but not the pawn shop or the radio station. I don't think most students would. The pawn shop in particular is kind of hard to find. Now I feel as though I have a general idea of where most of the main places in Trista. This was tutorial! Almost feels like this quest benefited me more than you. Now that's nice to hear. You spoke to Michael while you were at Radio Trista, right? Did he tell you anything about the new show? It did. Starts at 9. Figured he'd mention that. He's thrilled. That enthusiasm is infectious. You plan on turning it in? I'd love to. Ah, you don't have an audible radio. Here, it's all yours. He just gives me a radio. Latest model. Same one I've got. You owe me out big time today, so it only seems right to pay you back. Of course, I bought it for research purposes, but I never really found the chance to make any use of it. Be a use? It'd be a waste to just leave it here. Yeah, totally. Yeah, thank you very much. Bro just gave me a radio. Sarah came the other day with a request. Long story short, she left me here in charge of doing maintenance on your Arcus units. Finally. Engineering Club is basically Orr's, uh, Thor's Orbital Factory. I'm pretty interested in your Arcus units myself, so if you need help with anything Arcus related, just come visit me here and I'll sort it out. Good to know. Part of me feels bad adding to your workload, but it's a relief to hear that you'll be the one in charge of this stuff. Quite the compliment. I also mean to ask, you know about Sepith masses, right? Yes. That's what you saw me sell earlier for some crap. You mean the stuff that monsters sometimes drop with re uh, regular Sepith? Exactly. I'm sure you don't need to tell me how handy regular Sabbath can be. The Sabbath masses have tons of impurities. Though they've never received much attention. Recently, someone discovered a way to efficiently extract Sabbath from them. Yeah, it's so. Uh, thanks to that, most shops are willing to take them off your hands for a decent price nowadays. So rather than us getting just straight Mira... Uh, for defeating monsters, we get these Sepith masses and then we can sell them. A little extra money, yeah. You can now make use of the Orbital Factory. Yes! Progress has already been made. I'll give everyone their special uh, Arcus cover.
That's right. That's a great support. Because another thing is I want everyone to have a good spell. Even if they're not a spellcaster, just in case they get those uh, the, the, the thing that lets them insta-cast a spell for free so they, they can take advantage of it. Exhausted. And now that I think about it, George might have just made that request for my sake. Now I know more about Tristan. And we're gonna see... Veronica. Hanging around here, she must be a member of the club. Big thing next to her wasn't there before. Doesn't matter now. Okay. Well, all that's left... Got orbital delivery and a noteworthy loss. Right, I gotta go talk to Lauren. Lot is the maid up at Global Dorms. Is that a recipe book? Yeah. So what she'll do is I can give certain foods that I make to her in her prizes. I'm gonna skip this. This is good. I offer unique dishes. Which I have a few. Why not? Those are the gold ones. Hey! I have more to give you.
Gear bombs. That's nice. Okay. Um, let's see. That gave me lots of things. Yep. And hers is completed. See? Star. Cool. That's all we learned about. That's the 25th. I got one for Elliot. Okay. So tonight, there's a hidden quest I have to do. I think that's everything for now. Got the Red Moon Rose. Yeah. Okay, so it's time. Time to go to the old school house. Hey. Oh! I have to talk to Principal Van Dyke. about uh, completely non-suspicious things. Actually, this is New Game Plus. Does that mean I'll be able to... Uh, this is... Yep. Good, I've been waiting for you. even bigger up close than it did in the entrance zone. He must be, what, two Argate tall? Arj, I think is how you actually pronounce it. Toa tells me you've accepted my request. I truly appreciate taking time out of your free day to assist me like this. Dude looks like he's about to, like, flex and just burst out of that suit. It's no problem at all, sir. You're looking for someone to further investigate the underground area of the old schoolhouse. Precisely! Couldn't have found a better man for the job, considering your class was down there so recently. Incidentally, it was Sarah who insisted on making use of that trapdoor, not me. I probably should have tried to stop her. Please accept apologies. Eh, not at all. You have no reason to apologize. I kind of figured she would find Getting back to the matter at hand, there are a number of interesting stories regarding the old schoolhouse. That gargoyle you fought is just a drop in the bucket, all told. Now that you mention it, I did get the distinct impression that there was no ordinary monster. It's almost as if, almost as if it wasn't a monster at all, but a demon? Perhaps the word fiend might fit. Our experience, if left alone, it will always regenerate to its original statue form, eventually. Really? Yes. As a result, the area has long been used by students in tests of strength. Past year, many strange alterations have begun occurring. I've received reports ranging from doors appearing out of nowhere to strange and eerie voices in the dark. Riddles in the dark. So you'd like me to go investigate? If possible. Specifically, I'd like you to walk through the underground area and check for any significant changes since last month. A task for which you are uniquely qualified, given prior experience down there. I'd be happy to undertake this mission. If that gargoyle has regenerated, things could get a little tricky. If it's not to be the case, I'd have no idea. Yeah, so... At the end of every free day, I'm gonna go down with a few classmates. It's the dungeon. The repeatable dungeon of the game. For anyone who played Persona 5, kinda like mementos. Now 
now we can go to the old spot. Now I have it. Still a little nervous about the fish thing. <laughs> we'll have plenty of chances to fish here, so. It's really the fit, the, the places outside of Trista that fishing goes. You can call members of class seven. Right now, you can only bring your buddies, Elliot, in. But it's fine. We got this. Neither of us would blame you one bit if you turned back. It's not too late. No thanks. I'll come with you. We've got that practical exam next weekend. I need to familiarize myself with the Orville staff as much as possible. Besides, if I turn back, I just wind up worrying myself sick about the two of you. It's very kind, thank you. There are only three of us, though, so we each need to watch each other's backs and proceed with caution. The underground area should be just through the main door. Should take us right to the room where we fought that stone gargoyle. Just to go that way rather than falling through the trap door. It's changed. Wait, did it always look like this in here? No, this room's definitely smaller than it was last time. Oh, I'd say about half the size, maybe less. There are things present that weren't here previously. Like that door in that orbital station. I don't remember there being a door there. I don't remember there being one either, but at this point, I'm not sure what to believe. Strange though it may be, we should go and get a closer look at it. It's essentially why we came after. Now we're in a dungeon. Combat and everything. Unbelievable. This isn't even the same place. I don't remember passing through an area like this. I don't either. It, the entire layout down here has changed completely. Wow. I can sense new types of monsters here, too. More stuff to scan! What do you think we should do, Reed? principal sent us down here to investigate these mysterious changes. That's exactly what we're going to do. Now that we've seen just how major these changes are, there's no way we can go back empty-handed. We should head as far in as we're able. Go again, then. God is be with us. The wings? Huh. This be? Look like an ornament charging station. Some kind of device, whatever it is. Doesn't seem to have any power right now. Okay. Now, we are fighting. Three chests. Also, new enemies to fight and scan. the first floor, right? Yes. 
Not if we make good use of our combat links. Right. So we we weren't able to do this until the end of uh, previous uh, dungeon. Now we'll be able to see if we can make money. They'll kind of like help each other out in combat. Pretty dope. My turn. Leave it to me. There. 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 Go. Now's our chance. We can do this. Go. I forgot to get the scopes. The solution slows. Yep. Right. Of the eight leaves. They didn't even give him a chance. They didn't even get a chance to go. Too fast for him. That seemed to do the trick. We fought well. We can master these combat links. So they'll prove really useful in the battles ahead. We should probably try to practice as much as possible while the stakes are low and give as use to them as we can. Okay. Now here to go The 100 seven first. Yeah. Oh! I think says 50. The guide says 50. That, that is worrying me that I keep running into stuff with the guide. Does. I mean, I know it's possible. Bring it on! I'm relying on this thing. My turn! Got coin dealers on so the palms are nice. uh. Oh dear, all three palms are gonna get to attack, and one of them is gonna quit. Too slow! Oh, guys! Oh, he's okay. My turn! Keep it up, everyone! All right. Now. Go. Come on. My turn. Exactly for this reason. Been really effective at cutting speed together because I'm We're doing some like that. Pretty self explanatory. I'm using multiple orbits uh, that 
do the same effect. And so the chance of it activating stacks, right? So the Rakshasa gem gives us 10% chance to cut speed and movement. And I also have Speed Breaker, which is a 15, so that all in mind, that's 25% chance. That's been stacking. We're gonna do that uh, with that one. Stacking on different things. <laughs> Guys, go to town on it. All right. Now. Here we go. That's that. Let's keep moving. In fact, I give him. It's a fight. They, get, they take our CP. It's my turn. Uh, it's my turn. So when they're asleep, you hit them, and it's an automatic crit to wake and it wakes them up. They're kind of like monster. Time is precious. We should hurry. Don't. My turn. 
Give it up, everyone. Oh, no, you don't. Let's pop that defense back up. Go. Huh. Mechanic Ray. Oh, no, you don't. All right. Safe for now. I'm in mode not as scary as I thought it would be. I gotta lie. Enemies ahead. Here we go. There. Right. Let's keep moving. That's one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're in good, we're in good position. Yes. There seems to be a treasure chest here. Passes. It's like an upgrade. This appears to be the same kind of device. This one's an active too. Watch out, this is a tough one. My turn. All right, let's do this. Leave it yeah. to me. Leave it to me. Now, read. Leave it to me. My turn. Keep it up, everyone! My turn! No eyes, because I almost forgot. Argus, activate! Huh. It's my turn! My turn. Group. 
open. I don't think I can actually see. My turn. Seal is the possible compared. If I lost Zero art, don't mind if I do. Ha! All right. Now, rush. Right, right. Here we go. Again? Don't mind if I do. This might actually finish. Oh. Go! That's alright. Ah. Right Boom! That's the power of the eight leaves. And with the Minos Demon, that is all of the enemies in floor one of the old schoolhouse complete. Soul blur. All right. Just getting started. That was one tough battle. Put it through. Sure did. And I'm really starting to get the hang of these combat links. Feels like the Arcus has practically synchronized my breathing. Good way to put it. It's a strange feeling, but not a bad one. the end of the line. It looks that way. I didn't see any other routes we could have taken. It does seem like the entire structure of these ruins has changed completely since we were here last year. Hard to believe. Means we're done down here. We head back outside. Okay. As long as the route we took getting here hasn't suddenly shifted on us, we should have no trouble finding our way back. Bonds of strength! being paranoid and then let's go. Hey! Oh cool.
don't actually help him. I'm not doing the shield breaker arc just because I already have a plan for someone else to have. This analyzes defeated in it. it. That would be super handy for 100%, but I don't trust it. I don't know, like, the only... We did it. Sun's begun to set. Probably go give our report to the principal. Not at all. Let's go. We're gonna go report to the principal. Oh, there's a cat looking. This is certainly unexpected. So the layout has changed completely. Something was in this there, but I had no idea that it had progressed to that extent. Know anything about the origins of those rooms? It looks like they predate the school by a lot. I'm afraid I can't be certain who constructed them, or exactly how long they've been around. You are correct, they existed for at least several hundred years before the Academy was founded. All signs point to the Dark Ages. The chaotic period that began after the Great Collapse 1,200 years ago. Most of the ruins covered uh, that period are full of strange things, some of which seem to have been made with technology we don't even fully understand. We're talking magic, alchemy. With the inside of a building completely changing its layout? I have to say that's a new one. Definitely not normal. Indeed, no such record of a phenomenon exists. In the Academy Records, we have a bona fide mystery on our hands. I'll try to have a look around the place myself when I get a chance. I've been curious about it ever since I started working here. I'd appreciate that. Borzer, Craig, Borzel, thank you very much for your hard work. That was no trouble at all. I'm happy to have been of assistance. Always good to help. Please excuse us then. Three of you did pretty well. It seems you're getting the hang of using your arches. Combat links definitely did make our battles in the ruins a lot easier. Prove a powerful asset if we're able to master them. Hard to get the timing right. Just keep at it. You'll need to be forming links with the, uh, your other classmates eventually, too. Eh? Let me reiterate once again you've all done very well. Especially you, Rain. I'll be expecting great things from you. I'll do my best. Wait a second, what do you mean next time? Well, the way I see it, you're a natural artist, so why stop now? Besides, with how busy our poor student council president is, don't you just want to do everything you can to help her out? You can't, you can't, 
You can't use Toa like that against me! Yes, I do kind of feel bad. Fine, I'm in. You can't, you can't use Toa against me like that! That's Irene. I'll pass the good news on to Toa. The principal has given the okay for you to keep hold of that old schoolhouse key. You're welcome to go poke around inside anytime you wish. I'll be seeing you kids later. Toodles! Are you sure you're alright with this ring? I'm sure. Not like I'm signed up for any clubs, and as long as I don't wind up with too many more than I had today, I'll be fine. If you need any assistance, please just let me know. Same goes for me. I'll be happy to come with you next time to the old school house. These are my friends! Seal! That's literally what I was just talking about! Two more bonding points, because there are some night stuff. Ah! That is exactly what I was just talking about. As soon as I get a chance, I have to see you all. So we can talk to Lisa. We can talk to Toa. Or anything. I'm gonna go to the cafe and get this hidden quest up before I forget. Go to Curse's Cafe and speak to Fred by the counter. Fred? Good afternoon. Here, Fred. This is bad. It'll take a while to get here, even if I order it now. Is there something the matter? Uh, yeah. Based on the red duds, I'm guessing you're from the new class at the Academy? That's correct. But where'd you hear about the uniform? We get students in here all the time, so I'm always up to date on the comings and goings of the academy. You here to order something, though? Not at all. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. You were kind of upset. That's awful selfless for a kid your age. To be honest, I got a little stock issue on my hands. By which I mean I'm all out of a certain seasoning. Now I'm trying to figure out what I should do. Makes sense. I'm assuming you can't just swap it out for something? I could, but change the taste. I don't want to sound like I'm bragging or anything, but our food's pretty popular. There's a lot of customers stopping by with that dish on their minds, so... I feel bad if I use something like that. But what's the secret ingredient? Passion leaves. We're kind of spice from southern Zamuria. Brandon usually orders it. Probably wouldn't have gone, ran out either if I just kept an eye on the stock. There's spice from southern Zamuria. Nicholas from the cooking club might get some, have some. I really don't understand if I explain. How about it? I'm gonna help. Mind if I talk to a friend about the uh, academy about this? He's pretty knowledgeable when it comes to food. He might let me borrow some passion leaves if he has any. For real? I know you big time for that. Check with him for me? Of course, I'm gonna go talk to him. We got the quest. Hey, Nick, I got a question for you. Passion leaves, huh? Sorry, I've cooked with them before, but I don't have any at the moment. Thanks anyway. Might not want to give up hope just yet. Is that? I don't have any myself, but the cafeteria might. Think so? I believe I saw them using passion leaves in one of their recent daily specials. It was only one of the sides, so I'm not entirely sure, but the memory definitely sticks out in my mind. I'd say chances are good that Ramsey still has a few on hand if you want to try asking him. Thanks for letting me know. You either have keen eyes or a keen palate to pick that up. I always had a knack for picking up on ingredients in a dish. Most of the time I can figure out every ingredient and the quantity in a single bite. That's unbelievable. Oh, not really. I just eat a lot. On that note, you should probably get moving toward the cafeteria. It'll be closing soon. Good idea. Thanks. I think I just got a... Well, that's another completed one. Look at that. So the cafeteria. 
So she's not who we're looking for. go back here. That makes this so much easier. What is it? Do you need something? You're not here to steal food. Complained about the passion leaves I see, so Fred needs some passion leaves. So happens I have some. Isn't that nice of him? By the way, how do I... No payment necessary. That should be enough to last him a few weeks. Finds himself running short, he can just ask. Cafe and in. Let me see about. Fred. No way, you found passion leaves? Sure did, here you go, bruh. Can't believe you actually got them. Thanks so much, I owe you one. Don't worry about it, Sammy now. You got me a ton, too. How do I... How much did all these run you? Nothing, actually. I ended up getting them from the school cafeteria. I'll have to make sure to thank Ramsey next time I get the chance. Um, I think you'd like that. But I can't forget to thank you, either. Our customers won't have to leave hungry and disappointed. Take this. Crispy pizza! You're not part of the student council, are you? Not exactly, but I help them from time to time. Why do you ask? They've helped just, uh... Quite a bit out during the years. Us included. Seeing you kids try so hard just reminded me of their style. That's all. I screwed up the camera. <laughs> That's why they get requests from everyone in town, too. They're like our personal problem solvers. Probably a ton of work for them, but I think they all feel like it's work worth doing. I can vouch for both those things after today. Sorry about the first, happy about the second. Not time to get another one. We did it! Secret quest done! Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Now all that's left is to go hang out with people. Actually, you know what? Let's go to one. Lisa's out in the field. Herself, what do you want? I'm in the middle of something, if you didn't notice. Are you on cleanup duty all on your own? It's part of our job as new recruits. There was a noble girl here, too, but she went home. I may even tell you. Freaking. Oh, what's that girl's name? It starts with an F. You don't need to explain that to me. It seems like she's going to be forgiving me. I need to find a chance to apologize. 
Yes, let's hang out. Mind if I help? Seems like a lot of work for one person. I'm gonna stop you. They're not trying anything funny, though. Wouldn't dream of it. Sports clubs almost seem like they're more trouble than they First they set everything up, then they go through a grueling practice, and finally everything needs to be taken down again. Hey. I'm sorry I was spacing out. That's right, don't let it happen again. At this rate, I'm, pra at this rate, I'm practically dead weight. Gotta make up for lost time. Feel bad about her soon to hang out. There we go. That should take care of most of it. Seriously, trying to do all this by herself? Um, I'm sorry, I was in your way, wasn't I? I I'll start clearing out that other stuff. It's not what I meant. Why am I so stubborn? everything up. Green waited for Elisa by the gymnasium while she changed back to her school. Looks like we're done for the time being. Really able to clean up the whole club room on your own? Not like I wouldn't let you in either way. It was a girls club, remember? Good point. But you did help. Thank you. Huh? Nothing. Never mind. We're done here, so go away. Uh, okay, see ya. About, but that eh, went about as well as a train crash. So I'll have to kill her with kindness to get back on speaking terms. <sighs> Way to let a perfect opportunity slip through your fingers, Elisa. Can't keep doing this all year. is not good Okay, now the union. Now let's go hang out with Tell. Tella! What's up, senpai? Good work today, Reen. Turns out your assistance was just what we needed. I'm just... Just glad I could take a bit of weight off your shoulders. You really did. George really appreciated your help, too. I'm amazed you managed to take care of all that and investigate the old schoolhouse. If you need a hand, just let me know. My schedule's pretty flexible. I mean, I'll be at Thor's all year. Thanks. You should head back to the dorms and get some well-deserved rest. She still seems pretty busy. I'd be happy to help you if you need a hand. I've already spent the day working, so a bit more won't kill me. Are you sure? You must be really tired. Don't worry about it. I can do a little bit more if it'll help you out. Thanks, Reen. It says, two workaholics. Here, that's what this is. Reen helped Toa take care of the day's paperwork. If they were done, she treated him with some tea. Finally done. Got a lot on your plate. Now I see how busy the student council can be. There's so much to get done that I almost always have to take work home with me to finish everything. You sure you're okay with this, though? Hey, 
then you'd help us out next month too, right? Trust me, you shouldn't feel obligated to help just because your instructor told you. It's fine, I mean it. Not like I'm not getting anything out of it. Can't let the chance instructor Sarah's given me go to waste. Need to branch out. Try new things. That's the only way I'll figure out what I want to do with my life. I put a lot of effort into getting into this academy, and I'm gonna make my time here count. I'm gonna be blunt here, Reen. You really need to push yourself like this? Coming from Toa? There's nothing wrong with doing your best and helping other people out. I'm a big fan of both. But at the same time, it's important to take the time to just sit back and rest, too. You need to have a balance. Because if you don't, it may come a time when you want to work towards something important to you, but can't. I'm sorry. Wow, things got really heavy there. I probably shouldn't be saying all this when I hardly even know you. But I don't want to see you get hurt yourself by going overboard or anything, because you're just as important as anyone else in the Academy. You don't realize it. Thank you, brother. I was kind of worried about being able to do enough while I was here, but this is kind of like a weight off my shoulders. That's good, then. If you're ever feeling tired, feel free to come visit. At the very least, we'll make you some nice hot tea and we can talk things over. Roger, roger! I don't think I've ever met anyone with such a soothing personality. He's right, though. Pushing myself too hard could really burn me out. We're going... For a hundred percent completion, we are pushing hard. Bond with Toa strengthened. You, Ferris. She's a sweet girl, she really is. But she's the one who left Elisa out there cleaning up by herself. Practice came to an end largely without issue too. It seems as though cleanup duties left to us first years, or perhaps I should rephrase, left to Elisa. It would be foolish to expect a lady of my standing to perform such a All of these kids grow. I know that in my head. God, she's such a little shit. And that's everything. Quest, bonding events. Okay. Oh, hey, check it out. Hey, Reen. Thanks for going to the old schoolhouse with me. I don't think things are going to happen smoothly. No worries, we're all here to support each other. Seriously, what's going on in there? Last time I checked, most buildings didn't change around their interiors on their own. It's me. Guess we'll find out now that we've been asked to do regular inspections. We did accept the original request, so personally, I'd like to see this through to the end. Same here, it's a little bit intimidating. Let's head back next month. Yeah, glad I got you two to back me up. I mean the stream. Alright. We'll end the night in the game. Yep. We did all the bonding events. We did the secret mission. Um, yeah. We're good here. And empty. Oh, we're going to tune into that radio show. Yes. And leave. We'll, then we'll fast forward to the the practical exam. Oh, we're training. Shh, training. I am one with the edge. Okay, rings not in. <sighs> He's way too much of a, way too much of a nice cupcake. 
Not bad. But I don't think I can manage much more than this. I guess I should just be grateful I was able to pass the beginner examination at all. Dude's got no Better price. do some studying. It sounds like this is going to be a busy week, all with that ominous practical exam looming over us. Hmm. I do have that radio from George. New game plus. We're going for platinum. And you can't actually do that in the first play. So we had to do it. We had to wait for new game plus. I needed to make sure I could do all the modding events. We had that orbital radio back home, too. Never knew they made them this small, though. Let's see. Which station is Radio Trista? Ah, there we go. It's 9 p.m. and you're listening to Radio Trista. Welcome, welcome. Don't touch that dial, listeners. You found the right place to be tonight. It's time for the start of a brand new program here on Radio Trista, coming at you promptly every Sunday. I call it Abend Time after the word for evening. Might be a little cliched, but sometimes simple is best, right? Cliches are cliches for a reason, after all. Anyway, my name is Misty, and I'll be your host. Hopefully, I'll get to feature some famous guests at some point, so be sure you tune in every week or you might miss them. You know, she's got a pretty nice voice. This might be good to leave on in the background while I'm working. the beautiful Lino flowers have passed their peak and begun to wilt. But wilting flowers are beautiful in their own way, as they serve to remind us just how fleeting this existence truly is. I'm sure many of our listeners are students, busy with the challenges of adjusting to their new lives. But what harm is there in taking a moment to admire nature every now and again? It's good for what ails you, I say. One practical exam. Okay, let's get your practical exam started, shall we? To be completely clear from the outset, this exam is about more than just testing your physical strength and stamina. It's designed to hone in on how capable you are of making strategic combat decisions on the fly. Defeating your opponent quickly is a good thing, certainly, but it won't be enough to score you high marks here. Huh. Interesting. So yeah, Shane, we're going for it. We're, we're in for the long haul. 100%. We're going we're gonna to platinum all four Cold Steel games. That's the goal. Hopefully before before the next one comes out towards the end of this year. So we're going to have to use our heads for this one, huh? <laughs> You'll see. Anyway, let's get this month's exam started, shall we? Reen, Elliot, Gaius, you're up first. Please step forward. Right. Uh-oh. Got it. make any preparations. We're good. <laughs> All right, then. You would have to, you would have to actually talk to Machias. Not a Machias fan. I, 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 I fully admit he makes it hard to love him sometimes, uh, especially especially in game one. Right. He's still a bit of a little shit. <laughs> love i've said before i can't i love i think i might actually love every single character that i can think of in the universe. um even the ones you're not supposed to here we go i fully admit machias isn't one of my favorites but I can't not like what's that a monster? He did get that, you know, when you see him for the first time in game two, that moment, that... Mm. 
No. I'm not sensing any life coming from it at all. But yeah, in the first game, he is... He, he is a little shit. That's right. Think of it like a scarecrow. Only it's a moving scarecrow, I guess. Either way, it's not alive. I've set its parameters gotta fairly make sure to high, scan though, this so too, it is formidable. But if you give it your all, I'm confident you can beat it. Probably. Make good use of your Arcus's combat link abilities, for example, and I bet it'll be a piece of cake. Hint, hint. Oh, sorry. So that's what you're playing at. Give us your blessing. No one is knocked out. Here we go. Gotta make sure. Yeah, so I'm. I will have to scan. Arcus, activate. Hmm. So silly too, because I have. I literally have the dragon vein, or it's on Reen. But I'm like, I'm too afraid to trust it. Multi ear cannon. How the heck did you get on? Oh, wait, no, actually, I drop a resounding. Keep it up, everyone! Ha. It's my turn. Okay. I know I could, like, because I traded over items. Uh, My I know, turn. So I know I could, like, throw on, like, all the enemy gear. And kind of the point. Arcus, activate. Leave it to me. from him. I have to wait. My turn. All right. Because the challenge was don't let anyone go. go down. All right. I'm sorry, everyone. All right. Challenge was. go down and I need full AP. I need to get S rank on right. everything. Press. No. I can <laughs> That's embarrassing. Try. 
Okay. My turn. Do I still have to? My turn. Now. Go. My turn. There. Go. Go. Right. 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 Now there was only everyone. Okay, that went way better. And yeah, I'm really gonna miss. The winds the, must be uh, on our side. Down. They must be, because that was a breeze. That said, I don't know what they were thinking when they made this decision, but in Cold Steel 4, they buffed Elisa's uh, heavenly brain, or whatever it's called. Because up until game four, it doesn't affect Elise uh, as well as the party. But in four, it does. So far, so good. I know I could trivialize all this by we won um, using Chrono Burst, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and avoid Chrono Burst as much as I can. I don't know how, though. I mean, I know at some point I'm going to have to use a few cheese strats. Maybe not the cheesiest strat of all. No. Not bad. Not bad at all. Excellent use of combat links, too. Seems like the practice you got in the old schoolhouse really paid off. <laughs> it just may have. Oh? Have those three been training in secret? Yeah, in games one through three, uh, it doesn't affect her. It doesn't affect Elisa, and in four, it did. I remember having my mind blown by that. It doesn't regenerate as much CP as it does in the previous games. But the trade-off of having it also affect Elisa. All right, on to the second group. Laura, Emma, Eusis. Come forward. Thanks for the follow, by the way. All right, Angel. <sighs> that was tougher than I thought it would be. 
does seem like combat links are the key to fighting it effectively. Sometimes the, uh... That's rather unfortunate. Instructor, may I ask a qu- What exactly was that marionette we just fought? <laughs> yeah, that thing was weird. Machine, maybe? Never seen anything else like it. Um, just a little something I got roped into working with a while back. I'd rather not use it if I don't have to, but I can't deny it serves as a valuable function. And it's rather customizable, too. I mean, it did its job quite well during our test, didn't it? So there you go. I get the feeling there's a whole lot she'd rather not tell us. Anyway, that brings this month's practical exam to an end. But as you might recall, I told you I had a big announcement for you today, too. Are you all ready to hear what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's about a special part of Class 7's curriculum. Give up? <laughs> it's really bugging you now, isn't it? Well, I'll come clean. The special task you're about to be assigned is none other than... a field study. Field study? Oh, I don't like the sound of this one bit. You'll be split into two groups, A and B, and each sent to a different location. And while you're there, you'll be given a number of tasks to complete. Doesn't that sound like fun? Uh, we only just got to the academy, and we're already being sent somewhere else? Will you not be coming with us, instructor? Oh, of course not! It'd be much too easy for you if I were there to bail you out every time the waters of life came seeping in. You've got to be cruel to be kind and all that. <sighs> well, I'm certainly not opposed to a challenge if it allows me to advance my training. Instructor Valestine, where exactly will we be going and when? Ah, oh, yes, about that. As I said, you'll be split into two groups, A and B. Each of you, please come forward and take one of these to see how the groups have been divided and where each is being sent. Here we go. Huh? So, Reen, Elisa, Laura, and Elliot are going to Keldic. Emma, Machias, Eustace, Fee, and Guys are going to Parm. This is cool, because my first, play first time playing through, I didn't know all of these locations. We don't see Parm until round three. Uh, game three. What? Well, these are certainly some interesting groupings. Keldig and Parm. Are they both in Erebonia? Yeah, Keldig's a market town on the east side of the Empire. And Parm is situated in the deep south. It's known for its spinners. All that way? How irritating. <sighs> I'm less worried about where we're going than the utter lack of sense that went into these groupings. <sighs> Unbelievable. You'll be leaving this weekend, and we'll be out in the field for two days' time. Your means of reaching your respective locations will, of course, be by train. So do make sure you're thoroughly prepared, rested, and rearing to go before the big day. <laughs> Your rank's gone up. Here's a little something from the Academy. You did really well, Reen. Okay. I don't get a C. I had an S rank. After Keldic. <sighs> I still haven't been able to apologize to her. 
And we can't exactly avoid working with one another when we're in the same group. I'm sure this is pretty awkward for her too, so I really want to say something. But when am I going to get the chance? Ah. Uh... Looks like we're getting the chance right now. Morning, Elisa. Uh, morning. You're, uh, early. We don't have to be here for another 20 minutes, you know. Well, well, the same goes for you. Uh, what time did you wake up? Around five, I think. Though, I always try to be up by then. Oh, uh, really? Morning practice? Oh, you haven't joined any clubs, have you? So, I guess not. How does she know that? No, it's just a force of habit. I've gotten used to waking up early. You're in the lacrosse club, right? So I'm guessing you do have to deal with morning practice sometimes. Yeah, twice a week, apparently. I'm, I'm really sorry. sorry. That was easy. W well, why, why are, are you, you apologizing? apologizing? <laughs> <laughs> that was certainly interesting. But no, I really am sorry. I knew it was just an unfortunate accident from the very beginning. I mean, I was on top of you. I just... I kind of lost my head, and before I knew it, I'd slapped you. And you had your hands out like you were trying to catch me, right? So if anything, I should be thanking you. Don't worry about it. That trapdoor was obviously designed so we wouldn't get hurt from the fall. If I hadn't tried to play the hero, I wouldn't have been pinned under you, and none of this would have happened. Th there's no way you could have known that, though. No matter how you look at it, I'm the one in the wrong here. So thank you for trying to protect me. And sorry again. Woo! Rise no, it's... I, I mean, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I have trouble with these kinds of things. My little sister is always getting on my case for being so easily flustered. Oh, you have a younger sister? Uh, that's a question for another time. I think I'm the same way. I've been trying to apologize for the past couple weeks now. But every time I set my mind to it, I always just wound up avoiding you. <laughs> really? You did try to help me out in class last week, though. Oh, you noticed. I was hoping that would give us a chance to talk. Though you didn't need my help in the end, so it didn't really do much good. I still appreciate the thought. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, anyway, we've safely established that what happened wasn't your fault, but the result of it is another issue entirely. The... Result? What are we talking about now? Oh, come on! You have to know what I mean! This is still in regards to the accident in the old schoolhouse, right? Yes! Specifically the part where your face ended up right in my... Uh, you know... And I forbid you from ever thinking about that, ever! Forget it ever happened! Are. We. Clear! It, yes! Perfectly! Trying to avoid thinking about it is just going to make it harder to forget, though. Huh? Uh. Oh, good morning. Good morning. A lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> you two certainly got here early. We're going to wrap up after this cutscene. Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, I'll be streaming this around the same time. Looks like you finally managed to make up, too. Uh, well... <laughs> yeah, I think we're on good terms now. Thanks for your concern. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. It's been a bit trying watching the two of you simmer these past weeks. And I know Elisa has been desperate to apologize for her behavior this whole time. Whoa, whoa! only because I thought it would be awkward for two people who aren't talking to work together in the same group. Don't go getting the wrong idea or anything. Whatever you say. <laughs> well, as long as the two of you have smoothed things over, that's what's important. <laughs> now that we're all here, let's say we head out. The train's not due for a while longer, so this could be a good opportunity. We can swing by a few shops and stock up on supplies before heading to the station. That's a good idea, actually. The Academy's facilities are supposed to be open early today, too. Oh, that's perfect. We can make use of the Engineering Club's facilities before we head out, too. Shall we depart, then?
All rare quartz and accessories have been unequipped from the non. I'll be off now. I feel like I'm intruding on this. Here. I was almost gonna think like Kurt is in, but no, we know who Kurt. Uh, now is the time. Well, I am gonna do this. Though. Well, this turns out okay. <laughs> this is my special. Try to get this part. All right, let's get started. Well, that turned out well. Uh. Dear. Shaking with course one. Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, let's give this a try. Be more likely for well, this Elliot okay. to get. <laughs> well, this turns out okay. <laughs> this is my specialty. Well, this turns out okay. <laughs> well, this turns out okay. Is one of those has to be. This looks pretty there nice. we go. <laughs> this is my specialty. Okay. So, one food done. Then, so it's April 21st. Oh, no, the 24th. 24th. Next thing will be when I get the board. You wanna, you wanna check the chink? Yeah, we'll use a ground bait one. Huh. I just wanna check. Make sure I'm getting all the fish. Good evening, Mana. Yeah. Hey, Dark Jedi. Uh, I'm glad you're here. I'm sorry to tell you, you came right at the end of the stream, though. I'm gonna finish this fishing and then <laughs> we're gonna get off. We've been playing for three and a half hours. Tour tail. Yeah, we caught that. Today was kind of uh, like we got. Today was the first, like, social day, so there wasn't really a lot of action. There was a lot of running around doing uh, quests and social stuff. Tomorrow night, though, what is... So, our classes are mostly out of the classroom. We're doing field studies, so we're going to go to places and actually do stuff. That's the main core of the game. That starts... 
as soon as we start tomorrow's stream. So tomorrow's stream is a lot more of your typical, like, run around, fight, and your typical actual, like, getting some action. Uh, but today was a very much kind of like we did social stuff. Um, we did quests. You're new. Then I panicked because I turned. It turns out I can't trust the fishing guide that I have here. Because I got two fish that I'm not supposed to be able to get at this point, but I got them. Which would normally be a good thing, but it means I don't know. Can I trust my bloody my brown angler? Yeah. new rod, there's a new fish to get. Just, just want to make sure I get the fishing. Want to get the fishing. Wow, this is a big one. Trout. Another rainbow trout. I'm actually going to complain. Oh, that's a catch. Uh, I am going to go to the And salmon. So we ranked up, so I'm going to go talk to Kenneth. Forward. Yep, I'm a black angler now. have all three of the I feel like I wasn't supposed to be able to do that. Look at that. 
got so many of them. Another ground bait. I literally forgot I was in fast forward. This game's almost impossible in uh, turbo mode. Mini game. Come on! Come on! There we go. What even Neo. is this? Huh. Rock eater. time. Now we got all three rods. Just... You're not new. Tail's definitely not now. Caught one. Huh. Tail salamander also not. Okay.
where to go. Go Taurus. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna. So, what I want to do with Flora is maximize her strength. So what is causing? So high. Okay. Anyways. We are gonna stop here. Another save file. Okay. Thank you so much everybody for stopping by. I'm gonna hang on, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna let me hold on. I'm gonna send you guys to somebody. Check out Sasawai. So. <laughs> Sasawai, who is playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Alright? So remember, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Same time. We're going to keep doing this. Tomorrow, we're going to see a lot of action. So be sure to come in. 8 o'clock tomorrow. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by. Mine has been Mondowls. Hope you all live hard, you live happy, stay healthy, stay awesome. I want to see all of you again. Let's go get some rating on. I spelled it wrong. Oh, crap. There we go. All right, we're going on a raid, everybody. Let's go!